Amnesty International to stage worldwide protest against Google's dystopian censored search for China. Amnesty International has announced a new protest campaign calling on Google to cancel its controversial plan to launch a censored search engine in China. So we've talked about this before on the show. That's what's going on. Google is helping China making make a censored search engine that sort of uh, censors and limits what people get on their search results when they're using the internet. The human rights group on Monday said it launched a petition against the search engine, said that on Tuesday it will stage demonstrations outside Google offices in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Germany, Hong Kong, the Netherlands, and Spain. Google's plan for China would irreparably damage internet users' trust in the tech company, Amnesty said in a statement, and would set a dangerous precedent for tech companies enabling rights abuses by governments. As The Intercept first reported in August, Google secretly developed the censored search engine as part of a project code named Dragonfly. It was designed to blacklist words and phrases such as humans, human rights, Nobel Prize, and student protests. Interesting that that's one of them, huh? They don't want you to find out about protests. And what the beautiful irony, they don't want you to find about find out about protests and here they are being protests why don't they want people to find out about protests maybe because that's our only option for change right now not just in the united states but in in most of the world and i'm willing to bet in china so i'm glad this is going on i I, i'm glad this is happening so let's take a look at the let me pull up the petition here so you can sign this petition now here, here, this is funny. Let me show you guys this petition. Uh, here's what they say. Here's how they, here's how they display the petition. Error. Something went horribly wrong. Google wants to trade internet freedoms for profit. I think that's kind of funny. So you can sign the petition. Go to amnesty. Join.amnesty.org. That's where you can go to do that. Go to join.amnesty.org. So let's go back to the article here. All right, and this is something else to point out. Many of Google's own staff have spoken out against these plans and are unwilling to play a role in the Chinese government's manipulation of information and persecution of dissidents. Uh, Their courageous and principled stance puts Google's leadership to shame. Today we are standing with Google staff and asking them to join us in calling on Google CEO Sundar Pichai to drop Project Dragonfly and reaffirm Google's commitment to human rights. Good for Amnesty International. Please keep an eye on that website to find out more information about the protests. I'm going to do the same. If there's any protests near me, I'm going to attend. Um, and I'm, I'd imagine there would be one in Los Angeles. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on it. They said offices in the United States. Um, and Los Angeles is in the United States. I am full of deep-seated information. <laughs> <laughs> But this is a good thing, and, and keep in mind, Google bailed out. This is something else we talked about on the show for a quick reminder. Google bailed out of a project uh, for, I believe, uh, the Pentagon. They were going to get involved with a project of, um, of helping the, the Pentagon with information, help them with a facial recognition project. Google bailed out of that because of pressure from employees and because of pressure from the public at large. But people inside Google were saying, we shouldn't be doing this. We're all re- we already got stains on us from this China nonsense that we also shouldn't be doing. We really shouldn't be doing this. We're taking a stand. So it's cool to know that there are people that work for Google that are against this kind of stuff, that are standing up to it. And it's really cool to see the public putting the pressure on as well. So, so I'm glad this is happening. And it's got to continue. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your-